それでは、uh, we have completed the preparations so we would like to、uh, start to the next session、uh, here Uh, the topic will be regional communications or growth strategy. And、uh, we would like to provide the explanation in a panel discussion uh, format, uh, followed by questions、uh, from the floor. The presenters, please come on stage. I'd like to introduce the presenters today. NTT East President and、uh, CEO Naoki Shibutani. I am Shibutani. Hello. NTT West、uh, President and CEO Ryota Kitamura. I am Kitamura. Hello. As a moderator,、uh, we have NTT、uh, Representative Member of the Board, Senior Executive Vice President Hiroi Takashi, Takashi Hiroi. Hello.、Uh, with These three presenters,、uh, we would like to proceed this session.、Uh, regarding、uh, today's agenda, i s shown here. And here,、uh, I would like to hand the microphone to the moderator,、uh, Mr. Hiroi. Thank you very much. I'm joined today by Mr. Shibutani and Mr. Kitamura. We'll be talking about the future of the business strategy for the regional communication segment. So, allow me to share with you two slides which I have prepared for this program. And I wish to speak on your behalf in a straightforward fashion. This talks about reduction of net fiber optic growth. You see that this is on a downward trend. Over 2022 to 2023, there was a very rapid reduction in the net ads and net increase. But on the other hand, market share is also coming down as well. But the other s share is not increasing either. So, what has happened to the marketplace? Is NTT East and West fiber optic net increase? Why is it reacting in this way? What is the backdrop? Next slide, please. This shows you the cost reduction trends at NTT East and West over the past years. Of course, to begin with, from about 2018 and 2019, they carried a very large scale cost reduction. But year by year, Cost reduction numbers seem to be dwindling. If we exclude special factors such as inflation, I suppose that is one area, but the real cost reduction is becoming smaller. Why, why is this the case? These are the frequently pointed out questions. And these are the two features of the performance at NTT at NT East and West. When we take a look at the factors that make up the stock price, it's the growth area, data, That, these are very important factors that make up the stock price. But the fact that past, for the past 10 years, Entity East and West has carried out various efforts to increase their profit over the 10 year period. And that has really supported the stock price for NTT. This was a very basic element. They were very stable. I think, I think there's a security element. Many, many people feel secure. The contribution of Entity East, East and West in the regional communication could support the long term growth of stock price. But it seems that There is now a great amount of skepticism now in the marketplace. So maybe we can talk about why, maybe, maybe we can talk about some of the challenges that we see. Hopefully, we'll be able to do a deep dive into this, into this issue. Then, without further ado, I'd like to ask Mr. Shibutani to talk about how you see the situation. How do you see the market situation for the regional communication business at this moment? At this moment? And also, going forward, how do you intend to deploy your strategy for this market? I appreciate your input. So, Mr. Shibutani, please, the floor is yours.、Uh, thank you very much,、uh, Mr. Hiroi.、Uh, from the holding company's perspective or the analyst's perspective,、uh, you have、uh, pointed out in a very、uh, strict、uh, way. And、uh, so, towards that, I would like to share with you our thoughts regarding the management of the、uh, business.、Uh, before we go into the discussion of a cost reduction as a business opportunity,、uh, what is happening to the、uh, telecommunications、uh, market? And how are we looking at our business opportunities given this、uh, background? And from、uh, Mr. Kitakuna, Kitamura, they will be、uh, talking about uh, the uh, cost reductions and the 
、uh, improvement measures? Well, first of all, please、uh, look at this diagram.、Uh, the、uh, telecommunications market overall, and as you, the analyst, looking at it, there is a large,、uh, significant opportunity. We're at a turning point. Up to now. The on-premise、uh, telecommunications limited to the customer site, the AI-generated AI and the hybrid with cloud is going to be connected uh, through uh, networks, and the、uh, major driver is.、Uh, These three that I have、uh, pointed out. This is the movement, including the digital agencies, schools,、uh, universities, and uh, companies, uh, multiple uh, site uh, institutions,、uh, connecting these、uh, multiple sites. Market that is one driver, and the other is the hyperscalers,、uh, AI and generative AI.、Uh, they are constructing、uh, the data centers in Japan from、uh, Kyushu, Fukuoka to Hokkaido areas, and between、uh, those sites,、uh, the companies or enterprises、uh, connecting、uh, that area is largely、uh, growing right now. And as、uh, Mr. Maida mentioned before, the retail users,、uh, the、uh, network usage is、uh, significantly increasing. So 10 a gigabyte. Uh, High-speed internet、uh, communications is what they want to shift over to, or in the、uh, rented apartments. And then there with Wi-Fi,、uh, Netflix, they enjoy that, or they want to have a remote working、uh, styles. So having this as a Environment as a base. How can we re respond to the network demand? Is、uh, the large opportunity, and because of、uh, this situation, as I have、uh, mentioned right now,、uh, the.、Uh, Services for business, internet integration.、Uh, the demand is、uh, including.、Uh, there's a one time we had a special demand at one time in 2020, but currently digital agency and from、uh, multiple site uh, customers, uh, we are receiving orders that is exceeding the、uh, previous year, and、uh, these are the areas that、uh, we would like to. Increase, and that is the、uh, major trend of the market itself. Okay, then over here,、uh, looking at this slide. The entity east and west revenue structure.、Uh, those who know about this very well, the fixed lines are dropping. So of course, the enterprise ratio is going to increase.、Uh, however, structurally,、uh, a larger change is、uh, happening. Is what was commented right now. So in that sense, the east and west、uh, specific、uh, profit. How is this、uh, going to contribute to that?、Uh, can you elaborate more?、Uh, thank you very much. So, given that. The regional、uh, communications company. What kind of portfolio they have, and、uh, what areas、uh, are they thinking as a growth area? Is、uh, I would like to explain using this、uh, diagram.、Uh, the horizontal is the profit rate, and the vertical is showing the how much the market is、uh, going to grow. The right、uh, bottom is, as you mentioned, Mr. Hiroi, beginning that the growth has stopped.、Uh, this is our、uh, cash. How, which is the fiber optics、uh, services and network? How much is that currently? East and west together is 1.4 trillion yen, and、uh, this part of、uh, the uh, market share was、uh, slightly declining. So, how is it going to turn around? Is something that、uh, Mr. Kitamura will explain、uh, later. And on the right hand side is what I have mentioned,、uh, is where we can expect a future a growth, which is the network area, and this is the area that I would like to continue to explain. And on the other.、Uh, Side, what you have interest is the bottom part, the legacy、uh, services. There's a discussion regarding the uh, NTT uh, law uh, terminating uh, the uh, services. Uh, I S、uh, uh, P S T and、uh, service. We will be migrating P S L T N in 2028, and、uh, we will also、uh, terminate uh, the uh, phone directories, etc. And so, regarding the PSTN,、uh, the uh, telephone or customers or ISDN uh, customers, uh, they will、uh, shift to Hikari or Hikari Next, which is the optical-based、uh, services. And how much、uh, can they shift over、uh, to that is going to become the key. And also,、uh, lastly, uh, today uh, we'd like to talk about the uh, future new uh, businesses. However, scale-wise, seven hundred fifty, four hundred thirty, three hundred billion, and half of that is、uh, going to be the fiber optic uh, services. Uh, next page, please. So, as I have mentioned,、uh, the growth area, the right upper side. Business areas,、uh, the uh, multiple site、uh, customers, they're shifting over to cloud, and also uh, we have uh, they will connect with the generative AI and AI sites as well. 
and the major uh, driver will be the uh, local governments and also the uh, government's uh, GSS, Digital Agency, uh, and uh, the next generation Giga Schools. Uh, we have the Signet. Uh, which is the academic network. Uh, the nationwide junior high schools and elementary schools will connect with each other. Next fiscal year, uh, we had the uh, clinic, uh, online clinic, and also the hyperscalers uh, data center. Uh, from now, uh, Fukuoka, Os in Fukuoka, Osaka, Tokyo, Sapporo, uh, all of those sites uh, will be uh, connecting. And uh, there will be uh, various uh, needs that are occurring. Uh, Occurring. So as you can see here, um, the profit base, it's about 30 billion, and that is almost approximately going to double by 2027, is uh, what we would like to aim for. And uh, this profit, how much of, how is that going to be generated is the next page. And that is uh, related to how can we minimize the investment in the network uh, while uh, we can uh, update it to the ION, which has a good affinity with the next generation. Uh, sorry, with the AI, good affinity with AI. There's uh, next an A1 here. The existing uh, e sounds, uh, we have the high speed uh, service uh, that is uh, provided, the optical roadmap and, and uh, Hikari Connect with OSC. Uh, we have this uh, network uh, nationwide and we have implemented that from 2008 and that uh, network needs to be replaced soon. So the meaning the existing network within the uh, existing investment uh, scope, uh, we have to shift that to the next generation platform with uh, no investment increasing in ION platform in 2027 is going to be available nationwide. And that is going to, uh, in a sequential model, connect with the multiple sites and uh, fully uh, utilizing this setup without new investment uh, with the multiple sites or the data center and AI. Uh, there's a demand to connect uh, these. Uh, therefore, in an efficient way, we believe that we'll be able to increase the operating margin of this part. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Well, the enterprise network uh, demand, the digitalization and due to AI uh, progress, uh, there's a large uh, demand, and this is where we can have uh, high expectations. Then uh, next, uh, within the overall portfolio, the uh, consumer side, uh, Hikari side. So, Mr. Kitamura, uh, can you explain a little bit? Thank you. Let me take over at this point. As was explained by Mr. Hirei earlier, there is sluggish fiber optical net increase. That is true. For the factors, one is that there was the COVID-19. There's a lot of remote work and online classes that were really very popular during COVID-19, but that has not run its course. On top of that, when we compare, when we compare ourselves with competition, we're slower than our comp comp competitors in, res in responding to the need for faster fiber services, and also changes in the apartment building market. So that being the case going forward, it is important that we expand the area of let's see, cut across area coverage as soon as possible. And we need to reinforce our, strength, our sales and uh, sales activities. And so we need to focus on the condo market. We want to strengthen, we want to strengthen the provision of the comprehensive bundle services to the condo market to strengthen our initiatives in areas with high customer needs. So that is how we want to recover our market share. Also, in, in, also, in, in addition, we revisit and we carried a great review in August 2024. So we are aiming to generate 40 billion yen in profits in fiscal year 2027, in addition to all these efforts. Now, as far as the current situation is concerned, the net increase as of August 31st this year recovered to 117% of the previous year. So we've made the recovery as, as you can see. Next, let me talk about Hikari Cross a little bit. As was covered by Shibutani-san earlier, Video, remote work, this traffic really increased. So there, so we need to respond to the growing need for faster speeds as a result of this increase in traffic. So we need to strengthen our sales of Hikari Cross and expect and expect to improve our pool in cooperation with collaborating carriers. So in addition to Tokyo, Kansai, and Tokyo areas, we will be launching Hikari Cross service in Kanto, Koshin area, Chugoku, Shikoku area, as well as Kyushu area, in fall this year, and in, and in many other prefectures, prefectures as well. We want, 
We want to use ver- we want to use various we want to use variative measures so that we'll be able to aim for household coverage rate of over 50 percent or 60 percent correction. Now, naturally. We'll be promoting expansion of credit card service while keeping costs low by encouraging customers to switch from 1G service. We want to spend promotion expenses in accordance with the competitive situation. So as such, we'll be able to expand the credit cards, but while keeping our costs low. Next, let me talk about efforts when it comes to the condominium market or over the last couple of years. The introduction of FTT, the introduction of FTT services through apartment building-wide services has become the mainstream in the recent years. We have we had a service menu available for the customers, but there were issues with price competitiveness and sales methods who we compare with our competition. There were challenges, I believe. Now, since fiscal 2022, we released a menu that was price competitive. And we shifted to, to marketing that was focused on sales through developers as well as management companies. So the installment. So the sold comprehensive, so, the, so, the, so as a result, installment has been rising dramatically. And in addition to the condominium market, we're also expanding our efforts into the hotel market, where demand is emerging in, in concrete terms. We want to increase the number. We want to increase the number of units sold by 1.7 times in fiscal year 2027 compared to fiscal year 2023. Now, what about sales sales efficiency? Through although the revenue per unit will be lower with the apartment building-wide service, the revenue will actually increase since all units will be subscribed to the service. Furthermore, there is no need for individual sales to to tenants because we're talking about apartment-wide service. And the service is not affected by tenants moving out of the building either. So we believe that without additional marketing costs, we'll be able to maintain our medium-term revenue. So that is why we want to further promote our activities in this market area as well. If I could ask a question here, sir. If I could throw this at you. You're talking about high speed and also increasing sales toward the condom condom market. But if you face the market, it's it's good that if you had uh, the contact with the market, you could have done this much earlier. Why were you why were you behind against the competition? But when it comes to the condominium market, I think we were focused only on collaborative efforts, unfortunately. So when it comes to marketing to marketing vis-a-vis developers, we were somewhat uh, behind. As a result, we were not able to keep up with the competition. So that's one thing, we were not, we were not able to keep up with the competition as a result. And so this applies to the 10 giga services as well. But I think we were so focused on near-term cost. Our attention was really fixated on short-term cost. So that being the case, we were focused on trying to generate short-term profits. Our emphasis was really on that. So so we, we, we wanted to improve, so going after a very large market and uh, realizing efficiency, that mentality was very weak. We, we, were not very, we were not mindful about that. Of course, we, but there's no growth unless we were able to acquire customers. So I think we need to change our mentality as far as this particular area is concerned. Okay, thank you. I got that. So you talk about the revenue side. You want to reinforce uh, revenue side of activities. But when it comes to profit, I think we have to be very concerned about cost efficiency improvement. So how do you see specific cost reduction reduction efforts? Kitamura-san, can you talk about how you intend to reduce costs going forward? Okay, thank you. This was also touched upon by Mr. Healy earlier. You mentioned that our cost reduction efforts are now dwindling. I don't want to give you excuses, but we had the increase in, of course, we had the increase in electricity costs. There's also inflationary factors. But if we exclude that, in 2025, I believe that we'll be able to redu- realize, we've been able to realize a certain amount of cost efficiency. However, it is true that the amount of cost reduction is coming down. That is true. So I think that is. Uh, I think it's important that we should not just focus on conventional type of cost reduction because that will be facing limits. We need to change the way in which we actually do our work. We need to have fundamental review our work method, and we really need to pursue more fundamental cost reduction efforts. And the and, and, uh, DX and the I AI com- 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 communication uh, transformation that is going to be the most beneficial element. 
So currently, there are more than 2 million applications for fiber optic lines at Entity East and Entity West each year. Correction, 6 million, 6 million. And these are these entail very personal heavy operations. So we need to make full use of DX and AI so that we can redesign our operations. So the front desk, which responds to customers by phone, we have found that 80% of their work are inquiries. These are very straightforward inquiries. And the remaining 20% are pure applications. So we will conduct web and AI-based automated response for inquiries because these are straightforward. We want to make sure that there is no personal involvement in this area. But as for applications, we want to strengthen our contact with our customers because this represents very strong, very meaningful contact with customers. So we want to strengthen our contact with customers at the application sector and increase orders through our strengthened inside sales. Now please take a look at the right-hand side of this chart. We have the backyard where back office processing and installation coordination is carried out. There's a team in the backyard here. We believe that DX can realize zero-touch processing for relatively simple applications, such as those involving single-family homes and condominiums. These are very straightforward applications, so accounting for 90%. So I believe we'll be able to address these inquiries through very simple zero-touch processing. Also, for applications that require complex human coordination, such as applications for multiple locations and sites, then we want to make sure that we offer very meticulous services, and that should monetize. And that type of services should be monetized as value-added services. So, through these reforms, we are aiming to improve profit. Correction: We want to improve profits by reducing current uh, fourteen thousand front and back office workers to about half of the current work current workforce, down to eight thousand. We want to realize eighty million yen of profit by fiscal twenty twenty seven. Next. Here, this shows you the facilities-related operations. With regard to repair work reception, we will realize web and AI-based automated response, just like the operation at the front desk. We also want to realize automated inspection as well, reducing personal human intervention. Also, in design building facilities and operational work, we want to reduce work through AI and DX. And in the design for building facilities and operational work, we want to standardize the process involved. We can believe that and we can realize area-free work and conduct more efficient operation as a result. Also, in the operation of in-house station equipment, we will aim for zero-touch operations that automate a series of, series of processes from fault isolation and impact assessment all the way to the recovery phase. So through these transformations and reforms, we will aim to reduce the current 20,000 employees in the facility operations by 20, 25% down to 15,000. And we can improve profits by 11 billion yen in the fiscal year 2027. So 11 billion yen up improvement in, in profit in fiscal 2027. The series of operations represents an opportunity for EM East and West to interact with customers. So this is really customer ex ex experience. It's a matter of course that services such as mobile, electricity, gas, and water can be completed with zero touch operations. That has become a customer. So we have to improve both service quality from the customer's perspective and also service operation efficiency through these many initiatives. We want to make sure that we achieve both. Thank you for that. If I could go back to the previous chart. Again, let us take a look at the situation from the investor's perspective. Let me ask you the, this. You talked about cost reduction. We've been carrying a cost reduction and the amount of cost reduction and the impact on profit was not directly intertwined. So cost re so the co can we take it that the numbers you indicate, customer re uh, cost reduction numbers, trans will translate directly into improved profits? Well, let's take a look at the simulation. In fiscal 27, by 2027, if we do the same operation, how much cost would have incurred? So it's improvement against the business as usual scenario. So the amount you see here, these represent, for example, Suspension of contract workers, and also 
and so personal re cost reduction as a result of reallocation. So these are the effects that have been captured in these numbers. Okay, thank you. Uh, I see. So, so for example, re reduction of personal inclusive for contract workers and also shifting re personal resources. When you shift the resources, that that doesn't let that that doesn't lead to cost reduction, right? Because it's cost some it's cost somewhere else. So as was mentioned by Mr. Shibutani, are you going to reassign those people to new businesses? Make sure that you're able to absorb the cost and also improve the profit. That is the scenario that you're thinking? Yes, exactly. Yes, that is indeed the case. Okay, thank you. I just want to confirm that. Thank you so much. Okay, next. Well, let's go back to the portfolio. We have a profitable business. Some businesses are now aging. So can you talk about exiting from unprofitable businesses? Okay, thank you. Yes, this shows you the exiting from a profit business, telephone directory services. We announced in July that this will be suspended. And we, are, we, are, and we are now reducing customer service and operating costs based on the mentioned plan. Also, the other relates to the electronic invoicing. We announced, it, we announced the review of the invoicing conditions in July 20, in July to this year. And with full-scale rollout of electronic invoicing from fiscal year 2026, we believe that we can optimize operational costs, such as the invoice printing and mailing. So we'll be able to pursue those cost reductions in a robust manner. Also, in addition, we want to re-examine telegrams and other legacy offerings in the light of social trends and the business environment. So through these changes and reforms, we are aiming to improve profits of the legacy business by 13.5 billion yen in fiscal year 2027. So these are our goals. Next. PSTN is another example, so please go on. Uh, this is a migration to alternative PSTN service. Uh, currently, the INS Net and Analog Telephone Service uh, Revenue base is around 350 uh, billion yen from basic uh, charges. And uh, the 2035, uh, where the uh, copper line facilities will reach their uh, limited, uh, we hope to improve uh, the profits by drastically reducing the cost of copper line facilities by switching over uh, fixed line telephones uh, that use the fiber optics and wireless uh, technology. So for the time being, the uh, customers uh, moving or the opportunities to uh, repair, uh, we would like to use uh, those opportunities uh, to encourage customers uh, to uh, switch. And for uh, INS as well, we announced the termination of it in March 2024. And last week, I uh, provided information on the revision of services and the shifting to alternative uh, services. Therefore, moving forward, uh, we will consider reflecting the rising cost of property and labor expenses and fees in line with the suspension of new subscription for landline phones and will maintain the revenue base of 350 billion yen to the maximum extent. Understood. To up to now, the enterprise uh, network uh, revenue trend and also the consumer uh, side of fiber uh, optics uh, sales, uh, strengthening that and uh, reviewing the uh, cost structure uh, was mentioned. And also for the slightly uh, legacy uh, services and business, uh, withdrawing from them or various measures are planned right now. And that has been shared up to now. And now uh, from looking at the overall portfolio, the uh, upper left, in uh, what areas as a new business uh, are you going to take on the uh, challenge? Well, Ki Mr. Kitamura, Mr. Shibutani, I would like you to uh, comment on. So from uh, my side, as Entity West, uh, we have the company uh, called Somale. So allow me to explain a little bit of this company. This entity, Somale, currently has annual sales of approximately 80 billion yen. And this is uh, to be expanded to 100 billion yen by fiscal year 2027. Uh, currently, uh, they have the service Comic Seymour, and uh, the monthly users 
are over 40 million and uh, handles 1.4 million books in stock. So this is the uh, largest, e grown into the largest ebook store in uh, Japan. Uh, they have uh, original comic uh, production to license uh, development. So they have a comprehensive initiatives that was uh, implemented. So we would like to expand this business to 95 uh, billion yen. And in addition, we have a manga plaza in uh, North America. And uh, this, in 2027, as the overall global business, uh, we like to aim for 5 billion yen and to expand the overall business in total to 10, uh, 100 billion yen. Okay, then for NTT East, uh, we have NTT e Asia for the last uh, 30 years. Uh, the communications infrastructure development uh, business and consulting was done for the last uh, 30 years in this through this uh, company. And this is uh, one of the success uh, cases in Vietnam. We have a Bicanex, uh, which is the uh, local financial conglomerate. And the uh, we are, are developing an FTT infrastructure uh, project. And uh, with uh, BDPB, we're in with the uh, relationship with them and by partnering with the uh, local uh, carriers and provide the uh, service to the end users through VNTT, uh, we are receiving inquiries that they would like to work together with us uh, to further expand uh, this uh, network, uh, telecommunications uh, infrastructure. And in Java, there's about uh, 40 million of uh, lines uh, demand, so they want us uh, to help them. So, of course, uh, we would like uh, to continue to expand uh, such uh, businesses, to expand uh, the business. So the entities uh, investment uh, businesses, it's good that you will actively be involved in it, but uh, it's not all success uh, cases and withdrawing the uh, business and uh, when to terminate the business, the timing um, may not be uh, the best. So can you actually comment on these points as well? In that sense, with myself and Kita, Mr. Kitamura, uh, we both would like to share our opinion. And with North, with East and West, well, there's no uh, businesses uh, that we made an in investment uh, that exceeded 100 billion yen. So... Moving forward, uh, we are saying we like to expand in the global uh, businesses, but we would like to surely uh, create the local partners and have them grow surely, and then we invest in them and uh, go into the revenue share, share uh, type of business. So it will be a business in a way that we uh, can afford. And as you have pointed out, Mr. Ahiroi, IRR and ROIC uh, targets, set them as the KPI and because uh, these infrastructure projects are long term. Uh, therefore, uh, we would like to continue to uh, keep checking and monitoring the uh, profitability and with the cooperation of the holdings of company, uh, we would like to have a thorough uh, governance so that uh, we would like to always uh, keep uh, in mind that we need to conduct these uh, businesses that uh, we can uh, afford. And that's the same for NTT West as well, uh, the uh, service uh, business. Uh, we need to uh, thoroughly monitor uh, such uh, businesses. So 60 uh, services, uh, which is conducted under 30 uh, divisions, and the uh, profit and uh, loss uh, management is uh, monitored, surely. And we look at the individual businesses, uh, and the KPI is set in a way, and at this every uh, certain set uh, period, uh, we look whether uh, they have achieved that target or behind. Uh, the uh, current uh, profit and loss uh, situation and the uh, future uh, growth uh, possibility. Those are the uh, two uh, perspectives that we uh, decide on the business. So the services that do not reach that, we have about 10 of them. And uh, so for each one of them, we are having uh, discussions uh, to uh, determine withdrawal. And up to now, four services uh, have been uh, discussed already, and we have withdrawn from uh, four uh, services. And uh, also, up to now, from an overall perspective, we have been looking at the uh, regional telecommunications uh, strategy of NTG East and West. And uh, moving forward, we'd like to look at the uh, overall number and also including the future direction uh, from uh, Mr. Ashibutani. Uh, can you uh, wrap up now? Thank you very much.
So uh, I think uh, the uh, slide is this uh, that are viewed by the online participants. Uh, they said that the enterprise and network uh, business will largely grow. And for the uh, network part, uh, we are going to increase the share. And uh, we are uh, reading the re-evaluation of personal and business portfolio, which is the front office and the back office and uh, delivery side. We are going to increase uh, the efficiency using AY. So uh, we have uh, the 25 billion, 45 billion, 40 billion through these. Uh, uh, we will be able to create uh, this uh, type of um, profit from the, these initiatives. And at the bottom, which is in the gray color, uh, the dual uh, type of uh, facilities and network by uh, migrating uh, them uh, will be able to reduce cost. And we have uh, old uh, telecommunications uh, facilities. So uh, this year, uh, by uh, spending a certain expenses, uh, we would like to uh, dispose of them. And uh, the uh, global uh, discussions and the uh, new businesses that I will be touching upon moving forward, we believe that that is room for growth. And what's not included here uh, today, uh, we would like to further increase. So in that sense, uh, this time, the non-core asset streamlining, uh, selling the land and etc. in 2027, 437.7 billion uh, we have achieved therefore a continuous uh, fiscal years of a uh, record high uh, profit and this year we are causing concerns to you but towards 2027 uh, once again uh, we believe that we can uh, recover this and so uh, what will be the target in 2023, the non-core asset without uh, selling the non-core assets about 360 billion the non-core asset uh, it's not uh, the uh, business capable of making money. So 2027, there's 360. Uh, we would like to take it, we believe we can take it up to the level that will exceed this 360 billion. And that is the uh, target within the initiatives that we have. And uh, lastly, uh, moving uh, forward, uh, what is the direction that NTT East and West will head towards? I would like to use this uh, diagram. As I have mentioned uh, today. The population will go down, uh, but the telecommunications in three years will be twofold, and in uh, 10 years, tenfold, and in 20 years, it will be 100, 200 times. And we have to uh, make uh, such facilities or it will not be the, a uh, the AI sites will not be established. So with the conflict between uh, US and China, Japan was becoming the hub and uh, Hong Kong cannot be reliable, and Singapore doesn't have the uh, electrical power. So in Japan, in a very high speed, a high speed, high burst scalers are entering. So so with the underground uh, facilities, uh, with our using uh, fibers, uh, they want us to connect uh, their data centers, and we're having that special demand, and I cannot say which hyperscaler that we, but we are receiving uh, orders. So in the peripheral of these sites, we have the multiple site uh, customers, we have the digital agency, we have schools, and uh, the uh, users that have uh, multiple sites, uh, we would like to surely utilize our assets and expand the business there. And at the same time, the digital uh, driving uh, society is how we would like to uh, create uh, for the future for Japan. And what that means uh, in, this slide is shown. If you uh, see uh, these uh, areas, you will see um, uh, that uh, we are implementing these uh, initiatives in reality. So uh, the, uh, creating the value of the regional uh, economy and uh, we have uh, smart stores that does not require human, um, exist human staffs or uh, we have the renewable and circulating uh, energy. You, by utilizing that, we would like to create the circulating uh, society. So in Entity East, about from five years ago, we started it. it these uh, type of businesses have reached about 10 billion yen. So the top part of the plan, we said uh, challenging a theme. And as uh, Mr. Hiroi mentioned, that uh, we will be making investments that we can afford. And also by setting KPI, we would like to further grow these uh, businesses so that uh, the digitalization of the future Japan can uh, be uh, taken upon by us as a challenge. And uh, lastly, I would like you to uh, look at the uh, commercial that we have created of these initiatives between NTT East and West. これからの学びのために一人一人の健康のために豊かな環境のために
みんなのアイディアを ICT でつなぐ叶えるオープンイノベーションで新しい未来を NTT 西日本とご一緒に私は肉が好き野菜は苦手だ遅いよ姉は正反対で野菜ばかり食べてる母の作る野菜は私の人生に影響を及ぼすのだろうか農業のさまざまな課題をスマート農業で解決未来につなげるのも私たちの仕事ですありがとうございました以上で Thank you That concludes the panel discussion portion Mr. Shibutani, Mr. Kitamura, Mr. Hiroi, thank you so much.